We have 16 new skins, a new Halloween themed environment, new maps, and balance changes. Mmm, it's an orange juice. I am so excited for this. I, I, I can't even express it. Map making is going to be so big. If you haven't watched that video, you have to watch that. I, I released that one yesterday. Go check it out if you haven't already. League of Legends, Dota, and everything. That entire MOBA genre was invented because of custom maps from StarCraft 1 ported over to Warcraft 3. This is so big. I... I it's... But we're not here about that. We're here about the 16 skins. We have the new environment, new maps, and the balance changes. So, Zombie She seems to have the same voice line. It's really cool. Oh, the bat has spikes. Wait, that's illegal. She's a zombie. This one is from the Make Supercell contest. And he's guaranteed $10,000. And he gets commission up to $50,000. That is crazy. Custom effects with a custom face. And she's going to be 80 gems. Oh, Ho hold up. Is that lightning strike and bones? Does she lose some bones when she swings? Does she swing that hard? Oh my heck. Okay, this is, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Oh, oh, it's a skull. I forgot. I saw it in Brawl Talk, but I completely forgot. That is so hype. Oh, we're going, we're going in. We're going full skulls today. Spooky. Underworld bow. That's gonna sound really cheesy if you don't add effects. Please add effects. <laughs> Underworld bow. This one's also from the Supercell Make program. This was made by Beats. It makes sense that they held off because this was a March contest, but they held off until October. It suits the theme very well. He's gonna have custom effects and custom animations. Oh, look at that. He just, he just summoned the bow from the ground. This one's gonna be 150 gems. Let's see if he, what these custom things are. Ooh, look at those bows. Look at those arrows go. Does he have custom mines? Oh, they're, are they? Those are skulls. The totem looks like it's the same. I'll take it. I really like the skin a lot. We have been waiting for this for a long time. Ro That's a new animation for Rosa. Time to blossom. Oh, that is so cute. So she's wearing a skeleton suit and she's got makeup on. This is so cool. But her plant is an actual skeleton. This is going to be a Brawloween skin, so it's probably going to be limited. And you're only going to be able to buy this during Halloween. It might come back next year. It might not. It might come back in 2022. I don't know. But it's very limited. This one's going to be 80 gems. It's a seasonal skin. Custom effects for the main attack. Rosa animation update, which we already saw. That's so cool. The punches, they're kind of like knuckles. Like bone knuckles. Here we go. This is the best part. <laughs> It's a giant skeleton! That is money. We need to test it on these bots. Yep. Keep 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 the supers coming. Oh yeah. This This is probably one of my favorite skins. That's so cool. And then we have Challenger Colt. Did he just throw those guns? And his guns are playing. <laughs> brawl stars oh yeah even his right gun and his left gun they're both loading brawl stars it looks like he's probably in 1200 trophy matchmaking so he's gonna be stuck there for a while world finals 2020 skin this one's gonna be 499 and it's going to contribute to the world finals so for the prize pool up to 1 million dollars it's gonna be 499 it's gonna be limited you will never be able to buy the skin again custom video effects look at them bullets I want to see if a super is different. Check out my guns. <laughs> it's an interesting skin, and I love the concept how it's kind of like Dota, where the prize contributes to the final pool. Then we have the 12 remaining skins, the true silver and gold skins. You've got true silver bull. He's going to be all silver. Then you have true gold bull. He's all gold. True silver barley. He's got the basic skin. This is the ultimate flex. I think, honestly, only Ben Tim's going to be able to afford all of these. Rico. It's the bubblegum skin, so he's true silver. I really like the silver one. Then you have gold. You're just You're just flexing on the haters at this point. Holy. Oh, Frank. That's going to be a cool one. True silver Frank. True gold Frank. And I did say that there are 12 skins. This true silver Mortis hatless. True silver Mortis with a hat. True gold Mortis. No hat. 
and with the hat. So when you buy this true silver skin, you get both of the silver skins. And then when you buy the gold skin, you get both gold skins. That is so cool. There is so much controversy about his hat that they brought back his hat. Huge props to Supercell for doing that. Piper's got a new face video effect. Oh, she's she's got the Nita eyes. Y'all see that? Did she just wink? <laughs> new video effects for Shark Leon. There's a lot more fish than I remember from the live build. And there's some water now. Corner case. Let's check out this new Poco environment. Poco's bandstand. <laughs> Was that a bot on the bottom there? <laughs> it's riding the Poco hat. We've got a teleporter. I'm not going to use that yet, though. So you've got a little shop on the left side. There's an El Primo on the right side. He's just chilling there. I would love to hit him. Is that Amber? I know Supercell said we weren't allowed to cover Amber until tomorrow, but check that out. You saw it here first. first. Amber, Amber leaked, leaked gameplay. gameplay. Not really, but close enough. I'll take what I can. Wow, there's actual brawlers in here. Poco's playing on there. This is this is his time to shine. I'm gonna take the teleporter. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. It takes me to the other side of the map. That's scary. That an enemy can warp behind you. I honestly thought it was gonna bring you to the side. I thought it was gonna warp me to that one. Looks like there's a cooldown on there. It's about five seconds. What happens if you just stay on there? You just sit. Yep, it teleports you if you just stand still. So we've got all sorts of new maps in here. We have all the gem grab ones, some new showdown ones. I still want to see this one in rotation. <laughs> all of these heist ones that are coming back. You have bounty. And then, oh, what's quick skip? Oh, with teleporters. I like it. Imagine if they had teleporters in Brawl Ball. That would be ridiculous. And then we have Siege. Seven maps on Siege. And Hot Zone. Who could forget about Hot Zone? Dueling Beetles. That looks new. Ooh, there's water. I wonder if Dynamite could jump through there. Why well, I wonder when you can find out. There's no way he wouldn't be able to. Did I even select the right gadget? Oh, that is broken. Look at that amount of air. That is absurd. Dynamite! Oh boy. I didn't die. You died. I honestly think Brock, Dynamite, and, uh, and Gale is going to be so good in here. Oh boy. Calling it now. Gale is going to be meta. The amount of air on this map is ridiculous. With the balance changes, 8-Bit is getting a massive buff. His health is going from 4,300 to 4,800. That's 500 more health at level 1. Colette's main attack reload speed is increasing by 11%, so she's going to be attacking a lot faster. Well, you can't really tell, but it's it's 11% faster. Just take my word for it. And then her supercharge rate is increased by 100%. That's kind of a bad example because I got knocked out 4 bots, but maybe I'll try and knock out 2. Boom. One, two, three, four. Here's a better example. This will hit one target twice to 50%. Then you do two more attacks and it supers back up. Boom, boom. Attack, attack. Boom, boom. All right, here's a realistic situation. Your super is charged up. You want to assault a primo? Sure. You use your super. It's charged up twice. You go twice. You go your super again. You hit one more time. You wait for that one reload because it's faster. And that's three supers. That's actually a pretty significant difference. Ems' main attack reload speed is increasing by 5%. So it's... Not noticeable, unless it's side by side, but just take my word for it. She's gonna be 5%, in a sense, 5% stronger. Not literally, but kind of. That's her DPS increase. Wow, talk about power creep. Gale's main attack's reload speed is increasing by 14% as well. Just like that. Her attack speed is increasing by 12%. On top of that, Bruce is now allowed to move and attack while casting bear paws. That's gonna be the stun. So I cast it right there, and then he activated it. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna summon him there, and then I'm gonna activate the gadget, and it stuns it. That's so much more intuitive. That's so much smoother. I think that's a really nice compromise. Bo's tripwire now has a 1.5 second delay when you're activating it, but they're gonna remain invisible until they're activated. So your opponent's not going to see a trip if they didn't see where it's planted. Boom! Max's run and gun efficiency has been reduced by 50%, so it's not going to charge as fast, but it's still pretty sweet. Magic. Magic.
they've balanced out matchmaking a little bit more there's always going to be pros and cons to matchmaking do you make stricter requirements that means everyone's gonna have to wait two minutes in the lobby it's just a very complex issue of wait time versus matching against someone that's higher trophies than you but they're always trying to tweak it and one of the things that they're doing is they even moved matchmaking score when entering matchmaking in a game room with two or three players previously playing with friends in a group would match you against higher trophy players now even if you're in that group your match should only consider the highest trophy player from your team they're going to be adding a warning feature that the first season rewards will be automatically collected when season three ends this functionality will be added likely in november in 35 days obviously when the season ends so if you're going to be unlocking amber use all of your season one chests first but these remaining boxes from before season pass exist they're going to be here forever i think well, they're not removing them, that's for sure. It's not in a rotation in the dev build, but Graveyard Shift is coming back as a temporary mode with new map rotation for Brawloween. And there's gonna be a completely new pin system. So so what's cool with the player pins is that I could have I could still have the sad and two sad ones. I like this a lot. For the first slot, I'll have an uwu crying one and an angry. You know what? These are perfect. This is my dream battle pin right here. I anxiously wait for the day that I get an uwu on my main account. I'll be so happy to get an uwu. And then I guess for the pins that have a lot, you, if if you want, you could make them very similar. So the first one is the regular one. The second one is the limited, limited. season three one that you can only get from this Brawl Pass. Slightly different hair. It looks like the player pins that I adjusted for slot one and two remain for everyone else. Anything I pick, those are the player pins that are kind of... For all of the brawlers that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it because there is so much the map maker is huge we have a new legendary brawler i'm just excited to open up chests so i can get more gold for all the gold skins if you do buy anything in the shop make sure to use code oj we get a small kickback from that so huge shout out to everyone that does support us thank you for that until next time stay tuned for more quality oj